<clears throat> Hello, my name is François Racine. I'm an architect and urban planner and teacher at the Department of Urban Studies and Tourism at Université du Québec à Montréal. I will present you today teaching urban design, the UCAM Praxis 3 Studio approach. So to uh, study this uh, and present uh, this approach, I've used the 10 recommendations for enhancing urban design teaching and learning, which, are with, which have been formulated by Roy Strickland, which is a professor of architecture at the uh, Tubman College in the University of, Mi of Michigan. Uh, he has uh, defined these criteria, which are really pragmat pragmat pragmatic cr criteria, sorry to uh, that uh, touch the context of the project, the uh, project approach and the project outcome. So uh, his uh, recommendation concern the multidisciplinary uh, in the project development, in the urban design project development. Uh, <coughs> this teaching should aim at preparing students for an international practice of urban design. Uh, the teaching should, should favor teamwork and working on multiple scales. And uh, he, uh, he uh, think that role playing is important uh, for students in order to make students aware of the vi vi variety, sorry, of stakeholders involved in urban design or a project at an urban scale. That's for the context of the project. Uh, for the project approach, uh, he thinks that uh, we should develop uh, research, research skills, sorry, and cultural and historical consciousness uh, with the students that are doing urban design. Uh, he's questioning the linear approach to the project by integrating retrospection and uh, teaching should uh, help students uh, develop their own approach to urban design. Uh, for the project outcome, uh, we should use easy and understandable language because urban design projects concerns the population in general and public space. <clears throat> Sorry, statement of urban design's guideline, uh, guidelines. So the project should uh, permit to uh, uh, define urban uh, design guidelines and, pro and principles rather than fixed project. They should rather be a uh, notion of principles and guidelines. And uh, the project that are done <coughs> in our universities should be presented uh, outside the uh, institu institu institutional walls to uh, make aware of the, uh, of the population, what, what would be the solutions that uh, students uh, could uh, give uh, in certain uh, urban design problematics. So uh, we ha you have to know that Praxis 3 is the third studio, a, a third year program at the urban planning uh, program uh, uh, at UCAM, and it's a project that is done throughout a whole year. So it's really engaging uh, for the students. And that is the, uh, the, the year, that, the third year that we're gonna study uh, more precisely through this presentation. So the context of the project, you should know that uh, the urban planning program, program at UCAM it's a Bachelor of Urban Planning. So it's an undergraduate pro program, which is recognized by the Canadi Canadian Institute of Planners and Ordre des Urbanistes du Québec. Uh, teachers, te uh, teachers, students come from pre-university programs. So uh, it's called the College of General and Vocational Education or rather CEGEP. It's a two year uh, program, which prepares the students to uh, university. Uh, and uh, students also come from technical education programs uh, in architecture, engineering, or planning. There are some candidates uh, uh, that come from other university, university programs of the humanities and social science. So what we see is uh, our students have similar background for undertaking urban planning studies 
rather uh, social humanities and social social science oriented. Uh, we we're on, we don't have uh, our, our students do not come from a vi variety of disciplines. So uh, we we couldn't say that we have a, a multidisciplinary multidisciplinary work in project development. But the program at UCAM is a multidisciplinary program. We have uh, architecture, uh, geography, history, sociology, so sociology, economics, law, and ecology. So we have a group of teachers and uh, groups of co courses that are uh, in those multiple disciplines. So for the notion of preparing students to an in international practice, uh, our Bachelor uh, of Urban Planning program has two concentrations. We have one that is international and one is regular or national, if you, if you like. It's chosen at the second year of study. So usually we have 36 students in the regular track or national track and 36 in the international track. Uh, the students in the international tracks uh, will take courses uh, on urbanization and practices of uh, urban planning around the world. They can benefit of one term exchange in France, Belgium, uh, or U USA or in Central America. Uh, what you must know is that we have common teaching methods to both groups and both groups are brought together at key phases of the project. So uh, that makes the regular or national uh, students aware of European, American or Central American planning issues. And the international students are aware of regional and national issues rather in the big cities, Montreal, Quebec or the maritime provinces or Ontario, uh, rather at a Canadian scale. Uh, <clears throat> we in Praxis 3 uh, favor, of course, teamwork uh, and uh, students are working at multiple scale scales. Usually we have uh, five to six uh, teams of five to six students, usually six teams per, uh, per group. Uh, they have, each team has to make a service offered. So define collectively their mission and their vision. Uh, they, have the, uh, they have to think about the task and resources included, included in their ma mandate. And they ha have to define the deliverables for the three phases of the project. So I have, have a certain time lapse to organize themselves to be able to uh, do the work that has been done in a certain uh, uh, lapse of time. Uh, they're uh, initiated or all throughout the program to teamwork. So they're uh, having uh, to ch the challenge of the complex task of developing an urban design project. Uh, he, even the, uh, the physical spaces, the classroom that are uh, used in the studios are organized for teamwork. We have these uh, screens to uh, present their deliverables and to discuss in a uh, uh, a collegial, uh, in, in a collective or teamwork um, dynamic. Um, we have also at the analysis scale and even in the concepts, uh, the development of the uh, urban design concept, uh, each team has to uh, deal with the uh, scale of their site, their context, the, co the immediate context and the neighborhood to understand the effects of scale on the urban dynamics of their site and how the transformation of their size can influence uh, rather upper scales. Uh, we are using uh, role playing uh, in orders to make students aware of the, the variety of stakeholders involved. So at uh, key, key, uh, key uh, times, uh, key moments of the development of the project, uh, rather site analysis, design concept, are presenting the final stair, final scenarios or the implementation strat strategy. Uh, there's uh, one student per group that comes forward to uh, be a member of this uh, committee, which is like a committee uh, of planning, uh, of, uh, of urban planning or the groups involved in their project and citizens. So, and we uh, have an evaluation grid to guide the commentaries of the uh, these students that are have this role 
uh, to uh, give their comments on the evolution of the work. So each team interprets each deliverables. And what is interesting here is that uh, by changing position, they can find inspiration, emulation from uh, attractive ideas that their other colleagues, colleagues have developed. Now we will see in this uh, three-year studio program, urban design teaching at, at the three-year at UCAM, the project approach, how we deal with this dimension. So uh, in the perspective of developing re research skills and cultural and historical consciousness, you must know that in the Praxis One, which is in the one year, the first year of the program, the students uh, are uh, getting um, aware of the um, research skills required to understand the social economic dimensions of the, of the cities. Uh, they also are um, introduced to uh, the uh, analysis of the physical spatial, spatial dimension of the city. And there are, with these tools, they have to uh, develop some diagnosis. And the second year program, they're <clears throat> learning what are the planning tools you, you urban planners use to intervene on urban form, notably, notably in Quebec and Canada. Uh, in the third year, uh, these research tools that are uh, acquired in the first year and the notions of the uh, tools are used during the analysis phases, analysis phase, sorry, the programming stage and the implementation or the, the way they intend to implement their project. Uh, they have also uh, required readings are, are, which are uh, concerned on the evolution of ur urban design. So notably on the practices, the evolution of practice uh, of urban design in Montreal and Quebec. Uh, they also, uh, when they're doing their, their analysis, have to uh, undertake a diachronic morphological analysis so they can understand the building culture spe specific of their site. And uh, parallelly, they uh, have to follow the urban planning theory course and the history of urban planning. Uh, <clears throat> by the way of questioning the linear approach to the project and uh, by integrating retrospective or ret ret retrospection, sorry. You have to know that the program, like I said before, is a one year uh, intensive uh, approach, progressive approach, which is uh, organized by three courses. The first one is analysis and programming. The, the second one is urban com composition and design. And the third one is development and implementation. So it's a rather linear, as you see, a linear approach. Uh, but uh, each time, because at the end, they have to do their final report, which is the, um, the, uh, the uh, synthesis of all their uh, process, they have to make some adjustments, come back to uh, the uh, analysis phases to see if they have all the information to justify their concept. So each uh, step, has an impact to the other. So it's rather linear, but there's some times that uh, students are uh, aware of what's coming further and what was done before. Uh, for the um, developing each student's own approach to urban design, we're rather favorable of uh, giving them a, a traditional or a, a, how would I say, a typical approach with some steps they have to go through that is important and that is based on the literature notably in the Lil Wynn uh, Davies uh, urban design compendium and they also have to be aware of all the co cognitive operations to uh, uh, plan or to design uh, a certain fabric so be aware of how they're organizing the components of their uh, project, uh, their fabric. Uh, how do they deal with the building implementation? What are their relationship to the urban space? And how these, uh, this project, this organization 
is uh, in uh, relationship to the context and to rather uh, bigger scales. So uh, the last uh, dimension is the project outcome. So uh, we use here, we have some examples of the kiosks that are made by each team at the end of the project, at the, at the end of the whole academic year, which are uh, it's through an exhibition, which is uh, in a place, usually public space. So they're using models, real models, uh, drawings, 3D uh, drawings to show uh, uh, their approach. And we even use uh, virtual reality to uh, make the public aware or uh, to uh, imagine the spaces and the structuring of the urban fabric that are uh, proposed by students. Finally, uh, <clears throat> it's sure that the 3D drawings, uh, we use a lot of SketchUp modeling and, and everything, the drawing, they have to ha acquire a skill with a certain sense of design and, and putting spaces in form, which uh, uh, helps um, to show what would be the objective and the guidelines that they uh, want to propose through their analysis, through their project. Here we have a, 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 cert, um, a representation of uh, how uh, we could de densify the inner urban island to uh, implement housing for families. We see uh, before and after, how could it be done? How could this objective be realized and what would be the benefit for uh, restructuring the urban fabric? Uh, at the end, we are, we are sure presenting the project uh, concerning, concerning urban space outside institutional, institutional wall, sorry, with the student association. Each year there's this big exhibition with the kiosk that I showed some sample in the preceded, precedent slides. Uh, they are always doing a presentation which is open to the public and open to the people that live in their locality or the people that are in the urban planning uh, divisions or even uh, some politicians uh, come to, uh, to see the work and to discuss in a public space uh, about their, uh, their work and their, contribu their contribution to the reflection of how uh, can uh, some urban uh, or cities uh, transform. So I've made this exercise, uh, I'm a teacher, so I put some marks, huh? you're, 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 you're aware to that. So I've uh, done this grid, it's on 10, <laughs> we have 10 um, criteria. Uh, like I said, uh, the multidisciplinary aspect is covered in our program in part because we have only the 50% of the students, even there's, there's crisscrossing between the two groups. Uh, no, sorry, that's for the international perspective. For the, it's more like the multidisciplinary aspect is because that our, uh, it's an un, ungraduate program, undergraduate program, and we strictly have students that come from the same social science discipline. So, but the program is multidisciplinary because we're uh, making them aware of all the disciplines that study and cover some dimension and some reflection on the urban uh, phenomenon. So that's why I give uh, a half and a point. Uh, we're using, uh, we're uh, teaching by teams and we're uh, making aware the students of the scales uh, and their ana analysis and the definition of their project. So that's one. Uh, they have the role play, which uh, students like a lot. They're very interesting and it's really inter challenging for us to change role because it's them that give the commentary and uh, are participate in the pedagogical approach. Uh, they, are sense, they have a sense of using some rich research tools. They're aware of the culture and a certain sense of critique of the practice of urban design in Montreal and in Canada and even internationally. Uh, for the linear, linearity of the project, it's sure that the project is, the, the project approach is linear. We're, we're, we're really, uh, asking them to follow some steps, but it's them that can modulate these steps by their the way they define their mandate or the way that the uh, people that they are working with through the cities give a certain uh, texture and certain specificity to their project. 
the same thing applies. Uh, they're not, we're not pushing them with a personal approach. We think that they need to uh, understand the, the, the classical and then after that, maybe uh, give, uh, develop their prop sense of, um, of uh, or their prop autonomy in the developing of their approach. Uh, we're we're uh, usually easily easily understandable language. There's a lot a lot of time uh, spent to learn drawing for to, to, so the teams and the, the students can express their ideas with drawings and use all kinds of 3D uh, uh, tools to express their ideas and to put inform their uh, project through. Uh, their problematic and uh, to the, the objective that have, they have defined. Uh, they're always <clears throat> giving in their uh, last presentation uh, the principle and guidelines of their approach to urban form. And we saw at the end that uh, we have uh, a presentation outside of the academics, academics uh, wall through a public presentation or public, public exposition. So, it's not a bad mark. We have uh, eight on ten, but I think we could be uh, better. What what can we do better? Because with with this uh, exercise of uh, evaluating uh, with uh, like an outside eye, our uh, our pedagogical approach, I think uh, we think we could we should strengthen the international perspective through cross fertilization between the two groups. Have, have more discussions to compare local and international approach through the process. Uh, we should involve other departments to allow students to be in contact with other disciplines. Notably, we have in UCAM uh, 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 env environmental design, we have geography, we have uh, even people in engineering. How can we uh, benefit, or how we can make in contact our students with those other approach. We do sometimes have charrettes where we uh, develop certain project in a fast track way, but that is outside the studio work. So how could we maybe have blitz exercise in turn uh, through the process that could bring this uh, multidisciplinary uh, multi dimensions and to make aware of the students that they will work with all kinds of specialists when they're going to be in the real practice. Uh, we have to maybe more take some risk uh, to uh, really explore the urban design approach uh, in order to individualize more of the project. So maybe we should let a, a little bit of, um, how would I say, uh, uh, liberty, I would say, uh, be for the, each team to modulate the steps that we are presenting and to question these steps. So. Uh, this ends this uh, presentation. I hope you have um, appreciate this uh, reflection. Uh, I know that uh, in my uh, way, uh, it was very uh, constructive to um, think about our this uh, pedagogy and how do we teach urban design in our uh, academic institution. Thank you very much.